So we've all seen what T's are if you've played Rust for almost any amount of time. Now, most people think that they're exclusive only to clans, but today I'm going to show you how to get it, even as a solo. So, first thing we're going to do is start off with a base. We're going to start off with a simple 2x2 two two near a river. Then we're going to add on three triangles behind it, and then one at the front. Next, we're going to put in our doors for an airlock. And then come around here, and surround these all in windows. Come over here, place all of our walls in, place a wall facing there, rotate this window, and then place a triangle above it. Next, we're just going to upgrade all of this, as this is going to be the walls that protect our hemp and let in some sunlight. So, once we have all of this secure, we're going to come over here and put in our TC, which shouldn't be too difficult, like that. Then, if you misplace this like I did, come back in, place a window. Then, we're going to grab all of our windows, like so, which we're going to fill in to all of these slots, like that. Then, we're going to seal our TC in, seal that in, and then we can start with sealing the base, which we will use two doors, just like that. And then, once that's completed, we will come over here, place in a wall frame, and then put on a double door. It is important that you do this before or even a garage door. So that way when you come in here, you can place in everything without having to re-pick it up to place down the door and seal all of your components in. We're going to place a small box under here for any hump clones you have. Then, if you place it along the wall tight enough, you should be able to fit in a battery like so. Now that that's all placed in, what we're going to need to do is get four large planter boxes in which we are going to situate against the wall like this. Once you have one place down, you can just rotate them all so they fit nicely against it like this. Direction does not matter, but unless you have OCD, then you can make them all face the same way. Once it's done like that, we're going to go outside and get our electricity system set up like so. We're going to come out here, place foundation and a half wall to jump up here, and place our four solar panels like this. You can place them more towards the back where the battery is, just for simplicity. Once that's completed, what I like to do is have my root combiners out here, since they are pretty annoying to destroy. And unless someone's pretty determined, they shouldn't come back here and destroy it. So now that we got that done, we're going to come with our wire tool and hook up all of our solar panels like so if you want to you can do a good wire job i'm just going to do a crude one since i don't want to spend an awful lot of time doing this now once that's completed you're going to come over here and then place another root combiner like so and then combine these power outputs like so into this next you can lead it over here to where your medium battery is going to be up down and then go inside the base and hook it up to your battery like so once that's done you're going to need to jump out and then come in here and place in your lights one light directly in the center of the base right here should do the trick and then we're also going to need our sprinklers which you will need four of them for each one will go in the middle of this this is to make sure that all of these planter boxes get enough hydration and none is left out. So to place these, you can just stand in the middle and then look directly up and place it. Once that is done, we're going to place our electric branch, like so, which then we can bring our power out over to, like this, bring it up, and then connect it into the bottom. And then however much power you have going in, you just want to split that evenly. So then we can come over here and place our switch which we can have one side going into then we will bring up like so and then lead over to the light so that way it should be on if we flick the switch once that's completed water you can bring your water out to a pump along the wall right there which then we will bring down over and then hook it up as the fluid input and then for the electric input not the toggle what we're going to want to do is bring this over here 
You can hide all of this underneath the planter boxes or on the ceiling. It's your choice. We are going to bring over here and put in the other branch out. Once that's completed, fluid output, you will bring up here. And you can place it in any one of these. I just like to place it around here and then just connect them all like so. Now, once you have this completed and you find that final spot, you're going to go outside and place your pump. You're going to want to make sure that you build close enough to the water so you can place it directly next to the base, like so. And then, what you're going to want to do is grab your fluid, input it in there, run around here, and then place it into the top of this water container, like so. Once that's completed, you're going to need to grab another electrical branch and place it below this one, like so. Undo the fluid pump, bring that output instead down to here, and then however much is going in here, which is 25, you're just going to want to take half of that, which shouldn't be too difficult. And then what we're going to do is branch out this all the way over here, put it into power in, take that other branch, bring it down, and then bring it outside to our fluid pump, which, once we put this input in, should be toggled on like so you can hear you should be able to notice when you can hear it like that and then there shouldn't be anything filling up in there as it all should be going over to the water barrel and as you can see we got some filling up you're going to want to let this run for a minute but for my purposes i'm just going to show you that it works by flipping this fluid pump and then just like that all this should be getting water as you can see the little water has gone up as time goes on. And to finish everything off, you're going to want to close this door and then place your solo sleeping bag in here. Once that's completed, everything should be done. And you could be a bit more uh, compact and you can maybe fit some more boxes and stuff in here. But this is just the basic design. And then once that's completed, all you're going to have to do is grab your seeds of choice. I will do hemp seeds as that is the most common. And then all you're going to want to do in here come in here and start har farming the perfect genetics which i will have a link in the description to how to do that thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video see you in the next one bye